Hello students. Um, in this problem we're going to um, exploit the uh, geometry of planes and, um, and the cross product. Now um, I do have to give you a warning. I do draw um, a picture of the intersection of these two planes and um, it's a cartoon. It is um, not meant to um, be anything um, geometrically accurate um, like for this plane which is uh, obviously in the, the XZ um, uh, plane and um, so uh, just um, um, don't rely on the pictures. Okay. Anyways, um, let's um, find the unique point um, P and um, look that you just have to um, you know look at uh, what's going on here. You want um, something that's on the y-axis. Okay, so we have to put a number on the y-axis. Um, so if we put zero and uh, for x and zero for z, we get zeros um, for these um, values here. And if we put a one-fifth in here, we get a one. And um, x is zero, z is zero, satisfies um, this equation, and um, that is the point p. Okay. Now the next question asks us to find a unit vector u with positive first coordinate that is parallel to both planes. Now, if both planes intersect, then the um, uh, vector that is um, parallel to both planes will be um, the vector that um, uh, follows along the line of intersection of these planes. So it goes in this direction. So it's almost like a pinwheel. Okay. Um, and uh, what I did was um, I take the normal 553, five, which might be the, uh, like, consider this, uh, this plane. Um, um, its normal would be going in this direction. And then if I have um, this uh, uh, plane over here, um, then its normal would be going up um, in that direction. And, um, and then the, um, the cross product would be this vector, um, um, which would be orthogonal to um, 553 and 503. Okay, so um, something I'll just point out real quickly. Um, we could test um, to see if these um, uh, normals are orthogonal to each other. And um, if they're orthogonal, then we take the dot product of the normals. We should get 0 if they were orthogonal, but we get 34. Uh, you can do the arithmetic to work that out. Um, so since um, 34 is not 0, they're not orthogonal. I could see if um, these planes are parallel by um, computing the um, cross product. And um, the cross product of these two vectors is given by, um, well, um, we can compute it by considering this determinant. And um, once I compute that determinant, I get um, 15i plus 0j minus 25k. That is not equal to the zero vector, so um, these are not parallel. Now, I can use um, this, uh, this cross product because it is the um, vector that is orthogonal to these two vectors. And that will give me the vector that um, goes along um, the line that where these two planes intersect and so it is parallel to both planes. Oh, well that's great. Um, I'm just going to convert it into a unit vector by, divi by dividing by its magnitude and uh, compute the magnitude and I get square root of 850. So uh, I just put that into um, the solution and then I want the vector equation of the line of intersection of the two planes well, I don't need necessarily the square root of 250, and this answer will not, not necessarily be the unique. Remember that um, the uh, equation of the plane is um, determined by um, the point um, um, that the uh, line goes through, plus um, t times the direction vector, um, u, but um, I just need um, a vector that's in the same direction as u, and uh, 15i minus 25k um, will satisfy um, that criteria. So um, OP will just be the vector 0, 1, 5, 0. So I add that to um, T times this vector and um, I will get um, 15 T I plus 1 5th um, 0 T plus minus 25 um, K uh, 25 T K and um, I have the equation for the line um, that um, is the intersection of these two planes. And that is the solution. So good luck.